Hi there, let's talk about the near doubles strategy. So near doubles is a mental math strategy for addition or subtraction, but we're going to be focusing on addition in this video. And it refers to a fact that is close to a doubles fact. So let's just see what that looks like. Here I've used some 10 frames to show the fact four plus four. Now what happens if we add one more? If we knew that four plus four was eight, we could solve four plus five because we know that that's just one more than eight. So we don't really have to count all the dots again, right? We can build on what we knew about the doubles fact four plus four. What if we see four plus six? Again, we can build on what we know about this doubles fact to solve four plus six, because we can easily see that four plus six is just four plus four to make eight, and then two more to make 10. What if we start with four plus four, and then I'm just gonna get rid of this, and then we take one away. So we could think, well, four plus four was eight, and then we took away one to make seven. So four plus three equals seven. So near doubles is really all about making connections and relationships between facts. And we want our students to know that when they see something like four plus five, we want them to recognize that they, that they know that five is really close to four. So this is going to be really close to the doubles fact four plus four and all we can we can just add four plus four and then one more to make nine let's see how we could show or how we could model the near doubles strategy with another one of my favorite tools which is a wreck and wreck so wreck and wrecks again just make math really really visual so i love this as a classroom tool so let's suppose we are showing five plus five on a wreck and wreck now what happens when we add one more. So now we show five plus six. It's really easy to see that five plus six is just five plus five and then one more. Or we could show five plus seven. Again, this makes it very visual, very easy to see that to solve five plus seven, we can think five plus five is 10 and two more makes 12. Okay, so these are a couple of my favorite tools for the near doubles strategy. Now it's very important to remember with any math strategy, the CRA model. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you're probably familiar with this, but it stands for concrete representational abstract. And uh, whenever we teach a new strategy, we wanna make sure that we are focusing very first on concrete uh, ways to understand it. And that can be done using the tools that I just showed you, the Wreck and Wreck or the 10 frames, or there's other manipulatives that you could definitely use as well. When we get to representational, that is where we are representing the manipulatives in a drawing. So for example, we might draw 10 frames And then we could represent. So here's a doubles fact, three plus three. And we add one more. And now it shows three plus four, which is a near doubles fact. So representational phase is when we are representing things in different ways in, in drawings. And then abstract is when we actually write down the numbers and the symbols. So this is an abstract representation. Too often in math, we want to race to the abstract, right? We see this as the end goal. So we make a conscious effort to get there faster. So maybe we spend one or two classes with some manipulatives and then we get right to the abstract. I want to encourage you to spend more time on concrete and representational um, 
understanding because that is how kids are going to build their overall math sense, number sense, and conceptual understanding. So we want them to have these images and the images of uh, tools like a Reckon Rec, we want them to have those in their head because that is going to help them so much once they are working in the abstract phase. As much as you can in a lesson, if you can incorporate concrete, representational, and abstract into one lesson, then you are really maximizing the potential that you have to build your students' understanding. So I hope you enjoy this video with a near double strategy. If you are interested in learning about other math strategies, please stop by my YouTube channel or my website, shellygrayteaching.com. Thanks so much, have a great day.